Hi loves, welcome to my channel, this is Mama Loves Disney. Okay you guys, so this is the last and final week of Crafting With My Ghouls um, collab, which has been um, hosted by Miss Susan Titsy Decker. Hey Susan! Okay, and so down below you'll be able to see everybody has been participating in this collab and you can go and click and go to each of their channels and see the wonderful and amazing items that everybody's been creating. And also, I want to say thank you to uh, Alicia. Alicia is Alicia's Crafting Hoplop. Hey, Alicia, because um, we are piggybacking off of her um, actual collab. And so um, this week we were able to create whatever we wanted to. So in front of you, I have a couple items that I actually used for this particular project. Um, first of all, I ended up using some of this glass etching cream. And in this in this particular project, what I decided to do, I tried, decided to do something that people can actually replicate. Some of the items that I used in my other in my last two um, uh, videos, there there were hard to find items, but this this one you can actually find it. So I thought I would do something that people can actually find. Okay. So um, I ended up using this candlestick holder that is from Dollar Tree. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And then I ended up using some Nuvo drops. I ended up using the glow drops, which the colors I used were apple sour and banana split. Okay. Then I also used, I well, technically I ended up picking up these in uh, at Dollar Tree last year, and they are glow-in-the-dark, um, just regular glow-in-the-dark little, I guess you would call them gems, okay? So I picked up some of those, or I had some of those in my stash, I should say. But I'm sure that I'm going to show you an alternate item that you can use instead of this, okay? Then I also ended up using some of this yarn right here. I used it on the base of um, the candlestick. I'm not the, the candlestick holder. Okay, and then in my stash, and this is the thing, you can use any any cut apart or any die that you want to use for the shape. Okay, I just happened to use uh, Mickey bats. Okay, I used two different kind of Mickey bats, and what it was is that I cut these out in vinyl and I use the outer layer um, as a stencil okay and then I also just used a little bit of this um, purple and green um, yarn that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby okay okay so my project is I'm calling it a crystal ball <laughs> okay so this is my project let me see if I can get view okay so one thing I didn't have a double of I did not have a double of this little fishbowl that I ended up finding at Dollar Tree um, I actually just found one but there are all kinds of different varieties of bowls that you can use glass bowls that you can use at Dollar Tree I just happened to use this specific one um, and also I had um, bought a package of spiders at Dollar Tree as well and then this is just this is just something I threw on there just to you know have some extra decoration okay so and then I also use my glue gun as you can see right here to make a web oh and then I also had recently picked up some of this glow-in-the-dark um, I don't know it's just a, it's a deco art uh, writer okay so what I ended up doing is I ended up putting putting the vinyl on here the sticker the vinyl sticker that I used as um, a stencil and then I ended up putting some of that glass etching cream on here and I followed the, the directions as you're supposed to and I also did it here on the back so I have one Mickey on the back and I have one Mickey on the front I have a little moon here on the side um, I have some a spider a couple spiders and I have a little ghosty and I put some little gems for the eyes and then around the edges, I just gave it this little creepy looking edging around it. Um, on my spiders, I, um, I pulled, pulled both of the spiders that were in that package 
out and I went ahead and used my Nuvo drops on them. Um, I also ended up just putting some of this eyelash trim just because it, I don't know, it just gave it a little, a little bit more fun, made it more fun. And then that yarn, I ended up using it on the base so that the, I could uh, um, glue the spider onto the base. And then, oh, and I also painted the base black. Okay. So, and then, like I said, there's the spider web. Okay. So, and then, of course, inside here, I almost thought about making it a candy dish, but I thought with the whole thing that's going on with COVID, it wouldn't be too smart to make it a candy dish. <laughs> so, um, I guess later on, I can definitely make it a candy dish. The opening is, is big enough. Um, and then, um, oh, I was going to show you one other alternate thing that you can do afterwards. Okay, so that is my project share, and I wanted to just show you the effect um, in the dark. So this is my project. So you can actually see the um, little bat right there, and you can see everything glowing, even the little jimmies that are inside there. And then there's my cobweb with my spider. And there's another spider. And then, um, of course, you can see the back. Oh, and then just something else. So I was going to, I'm going to actually share everything all lit up later on in another video. But um, I ended up using the Nuvo drops as well on my little memory decks card. So I thought that was really cool because that glows in the dark as well. So yeah, isn't that kind of cool, guys? I thought it was really cool. Okay, so an alternate thing, okay? So you can pour out all these little, these little jammies, okay? And last year um, at... What was it? Um, Hobby Lobby. They had the little ghosties, the little mixture of um, table scatters. They had the little ghosties right here. Um, they had the spiders that came in here, and they also had the witches hats. Okay. So one thing that's really cool, you can fill this up with some ghosties and the little witches hats. Okay, and then let's pull out a couple spiders. Okay, let me see. Then I'll pull some spiders out and put some spiders in here. Okay, then I also picked up this little light um, at Dollar Tree. So you, if you don't have these, and I just recently picked this one up at Dollar Tree. So if you don't have some of these little jemmies, what you can do is you pick up this little light and it opens up and you pull this little paper out, okay? Then you put this back in and you just turn it on. And you put it inside the center right here and then you turn off the lights and you also have a different effect isn't that cool oh my god oh can't wait for Halloween <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just think that's so cool. So yeah, and then of course you have the glow of the spiders and everything, but isn't that so cool? Oh my God, I love lighting up everything. Oh, and look, isn't that cool? <laughs> so wherever you put it, if you um, put it someplace, if you put it near a wall, you're gonna have a background of Mickey Mouse bat in the background. So oh, isn't that so cool? Look, oh my gosh, I love, I love light, you guys. I'm a light person, but yeah, I just thought that was amazing. Okay, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little special effects here. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've just been having way too much fun. Okay. Well, you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.